Oh, I see. Okay. So you're willing to appropriate the word woman. Well, I guess it does fit your definition because it's a man who could open a pickle jar. So that's kind of, I guess it fits your definition. So then you think so lowly of women that you think that someone can just look like one, put on a bra with a dress and makeup, and that magically they, become, they like enter womanhood. Well, if they have gender dysphoria, then yes. And I don't think lowly of women. I love them. Gender dysphoria, is re gender dysphoria is a real thing people suffer from, right. but the thing they claim is not real or true. Why? Because there's no evidence for it. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Kick. I love Kwanda Hinky because I love kicking ass. Charlie Kick crushes Libra gender activists. Okay, let's get right into this. This is going to be amazing. So, I grew up, right? Um, not particularly liking the LGBT community, and in the past several years, I have turned um, to believe that I I really like the LGBT community today. And I was gonna ask you about a specific person in that community, uh, Ms. Blair White. Hmm. I haven't thought about Blair White in a while, but okay. Yeah, I mean, she was on the new Jubilee debate. Wait, is it a biological woman who thinks they're man? I can't remember. She was. She's a trans woman. Okay, so a fake woman. So no, I'm just I, I'm not even sarcastic. I, I, right. I don't. So it's a man who masquerades as a woman. Masquerading as a woman? That if you were, I mean, there was a debate she had with a, you know, Ben Shapiro. If you were to refer to her at a, like a restaurant or whatever, you would refer to her as a, as a woman, right? Well, yeah, I mean, you could pretend to be black. You could put blackface on. That doesn't make you black. But I'm just wondering, I, I, I'm not even, I don't know much about Blair White. So it's a man who wears the costume of a woman. Is that right? I mean, if you believe that value system, then I no, guess me, you Well, then let that. me ask you, what is a woman? I watched the, I watched the movie, and it's a, it's a person who needs a man to open their pickle jar. Oh. Okay, this is a new definition. I've never heard this before. So you? I do open my girlfriend's pickle jar. I, I, I can't hear what you said. I do open my girlfriend's pickle jars for her. Still can't hear what you said. I open my girlfriend's <laughs> pickle jars for her, I swear. Tough guy. It's a tough guy here. So, so, you can't answer what a woman is. That's not what I said. I did answer what a woman was. Yeah, I mean, rather, so that, that's your final answer? It's like, who wants to be a millionaire? That's your final answer? My that's final what a woman answer. Is? So, obviously the Bible says that a woman is a woman, a person with a vagina, obviously. But I do believe that gender dysphoria is a real thing. And scientifically proven, right? Well, no, no, it's definitely a mental delusion. The question is, is it what they think they are? Is it what they are? Delusion's a strong word. Disorder, sure. But a person with a woman's soul and a man's body is a real thing. Okay, say that one, line, one more time. A trans woman is a person with a woman's soul and a man's body. Oh, I see. Okay. So you're willing to appropriate the word woman. Well, I guess it does fit your definition because it's a man who could open a pickle jar. So that's kind of, I guess it fits your definition. So then you think so lowly of women that you think that someone can just look like one, put on a bra with a dress and makeup and that magically they become they like enter womanhood well if they have gender dysphoria then yes and i don't think lowly of women i love them gender dysphoria is re gender dysphoria is a real thing people suffer from right but the thing they claim is not real or true why thank you because there's thank no you. evidence for it for example you again? so can you pick your adjectives Say that one more time. Can you pick your adjectives in life? I mean, obviously not, right? I'm not, okay, so then tell me, if I'm you like, can't pick your adjectives, why can you pick your pronouns? <laughs> pronouns are a social construct. You gotta do it one more time. Pronouns are just, like, when you look at a person, you say, hey, this person looks like a man, right? Like the person you, the, the other person, I forgot, was it Joe Bob? I forgot their name. Sure. But he looked at... I think her name is Chloe. This person looks like a woman. She's a woman, right? Yes. If a trans woman looks like a woman, you're going to call her a woman on first sight because she looks like a woman. Yes, you might incorrectly label somebody that's trying to trick you. 
because they are wearing the equivalent of a Halloween costume, because they're suffering from a mental disorder. I do believe that they are suffering, and I do believe that... No, no, they are suffering, but let me tell you, yeah. instead of pandering to somebody's torture, we should give them a way out and liberate them with the truth and say that there is a better way forward for you, where you don't have to chop off your genitals, get on Lupron, wait, get wait, a mastectomy. Wait, wait, wait. I, I didn't hear you. There was a crowd. Can you repeat that? Say that? Can you repeat your... You were rambling, and there was a crowd, so I couldn't Oh, hear I was you. rambling. Okay. All right, next question. We're done. No, 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 no. I couldn't hear no, you. No, if you're, you're going to be a jerk, we're done. Next question. Yeah, thanks. And by the way, you don't get to pick your adjectives. You aren't very tall, and you can't change that. So next question. Okay. That was, that was a harsh word. Okay, this was actually amazing to watch. Really, really amazing. Um, the society we live in now, like what we are seeing, um, what we're experiencing is you people who are ha passing through um, gender dysphoria is a disorder, should be told. It's scientifically proven, we all know. Are different from people who are, are feeling like they are a woman, dressing like a woman, and Deceiving the entire world that they're a woman. It's, it's just a costume, according to what um, Charlie Cake said. It's a costume, which they're using to like confuse us. So now, right now, everyone who are uh, feeling uh, this transgenderism, they feel like they want to be a woman, um, a man, just wake up in the morning and see if he's like a woman, if you identify him as a woman, his pronoun now, his pronoun now is a woman, but she just identify him as a woman. He's not, he's not suffering from any gender dysphoria. He does not have any disorder, but he does want everyone to identify him as a woman, which is delusional. Like we all know that is delusion, 100%. And, and art, we are saying that, bro, the society we are living in right now, everyone is being like, no, he's okay. There is nothing okay about such person. He needs an advice. He needs to be counseled. You just don't wake up and feel like a woman. No, it's, it's, it's not done that way. That's not how life works. Uh, the, the student right there, the college student who, his attitude where he was just standing and talking, he supports them. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going. To, I'm not going to argue with that. He supports them. That's what he believes in. Or he's, he's feeling pity for them. But you shouldn't feel pity for such people who just feel like they are women, whereas they're a man. You shouldn't feel pity for them. There's nothing to pity about it. They are not passing through any mental health. They are not having any. Um, disorders they're not having they are not passing through um, gender dysphoria like nothing is wrong with them they just feel like that woman so such people who feel like a woman do you think we should allow them to the women restroom do you think we should give them the women privilege the the the, the opening of doors for them are you coming or oh, the treating them as queens because a man who does feel like was tired of being a man he just wants to be a woman they should start treating him as a woman. Then this entire world, we are doomed. If we start such narrative, we are all doomed. We are all finished. A man who now identifies as a woman, who choose, who feel like we should, we should call his new pronoun a woman, commits a crime. So which, which, which of the jail should they carry him to? Like which sentence? If they sentence him to jail, for instance, now like, let me say in a month, a month in prison, which, which prison cell should they put him in? Just tell me, which prison cell? Should I put him in a, in a man's cell because he still has his, his genitalia's intact? Or a woman's cell because he identifies as a woman? It's, it's just... It's, it's, it's... Oh my goodness, this it just drives me crazy. Like, uh, seeing people who sit think that way, it's... It stress me. It stress me out. But for the guy right there... Um, I like his boldness coming out to voice his own opinion because not everyone who can do that. I acknowledge that, I acknowledge that about him. But his point of the view is it's is out of the view. It's, it's, it's out of it. Like it's it's it has no meaning. It shouldn't have ever come in the first place. These are future leaders speaking in this manner, talking in this manner. Like it's it's kind of like it make you marvel. Like what is this generation turning into? Because you see our leaders. According to leaders, we've got a future of tomorrow. 
talk in those manners. People who are like this, like you are thinking in this aspect, like this, say we should identify people by pronouns. You can change your pronoun, but you can't change your adjective. Like it makes no sense. The guy himself is confused. He's, he's a full definition of confusion. Like he's confused. But this entire video was amazing to watch. I, I kind of like love how Charlie Kick answered him. Uh, at the same time, Charlie Kick actually like kicked him at the ending. He kind of like said, you can't change your height. The answer said was actually savage at the ending. Uh, but the entire video was actually interesting to watch. and Amazing. The congregation was... <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing because the, the round of applause for Charlie Kick whenever he makes a good and amazing point was actually beautiful to acknowledge. This was really good. Comment down below think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to us. Many of us can subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, you stand my bed.